Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're going to be checking out the EMF performance of the Model Y. And a couple of people asked me on the channel, how is the EMF in the back seats? Usually when you have kids. So for you, I have this EMF reader. It goes with eight gigahertz in frequency and I also have EMF fabric, tin foil, so we can see if this shields the EMF. Let's go. So right now the car is stationary, not really much movement going on. I'm gonna turn on the EMF meter and we're getting microwatts. So it's very, very low levels right now. It's perfect, but let's see how it performs once we start driving. So we're just gonna drive around the car park and check out the readings. So now that the car is in motion, there was a couple of spikes to milliwatts, but again, it's very, very low as it is. And this is just uh, in the back seat right now. That's UW. UW means microwatts, which means nothing much is happening. So that's very, very reassuring. I'm just gonna move it around the seat itself. And again, it's microwatts. So yeah, it looks good so far. From the outside here, as soon as the car starts going, we'll see, but we're getting three milliwatts around the wheels and it drops down to microwatts. So if you just go a little bit. Yeah, so it's around three milliwatts from the outside. And from the front of the car here, this is where it goes to around two to eight to microwatts general still. But I guess this might be closer to where the antenna is. So we got two but it's mostly microwatts right now. But it shoots up to two to five to 11. We're getting a bit of acceleration there, but then jumps back to microwatts. Now that levels, it's pretty much 10. That is usually what I get with um, Bluetooth headphones, the higher Bluetooth headphones. One is usually the better Bluetooth headphones, but AirPods, they go crazy high. So I could say overall, it looks like it's uh, not that bad EMF. So I don't know why you might need some tin for this. Maybe if you're ultra sensitive, but let's just see what happens if we do put some tin foil. I just put a bit of foil on the dash just for fun, see what happens. And now the readings we're getting is it's still Mark Watts, very, very low. Hey. Like, I'm excited. Now, don't worry, guys, I do have one more test for you. Now, this car does have a built in HEPA filter. So, what I've also brought in my magic bag of goodies is. Check this out. This is an actual air pollution test. So let's see how good the air filter is in this car. So I do have the AC blowing. So that's kind of nice, the AC is on. And we're getting 2.9, 3.0, and 411 particles per liter. I'm gonna go on air quality and it's 10. Now 10 is very, very good. The highest you can get is one, and 10 is amazing. Formaldehyde, again, it looks low, I mean, you know, what were you expecting? And just as a comparison in my old dirty Mustang, prehistoric, five whole years old, the PPM particles per liter is 700. So that's, it's going down now, 650, 670. AQI is 18. So we've gone from 10 to 18. So the, the ice car is worse double the amount of uh, particulates in the car. Probably just need to service the air conditioning in it, if anything. But that's a comparison to so the Tesla one with his HEPA filter. What I wanna know is, let's drive behind a diesel, a dirty, dirty car. Yeah, that looks like a dirty Toyota, dirty Toyota. And what's it doing? It's uh, still doing all right. It's doing all right. It looks like the, the AC is working, filtering out some air. Is we've got to get a UV test next, <laughs> test the sun out. <laughs> and uh, what I want to see is the performance model. Does that change the equation? Because performance has two sets of motors. It's got the front and the back. There's going to be more EMF happening here. With the rear-wheel drive, with the basic LFP batteries, seems pretty good. All right, guys, so that was a quick EMF review of the Tesla Model Y rear-wheel drive. Now, we do still need to test out the performance because that has an all-wheel drive, two motors two motors you know, front and back, so that might have a differential. And also, I guess the biggest concern about these uh, electric cars 
is the actual EMF that happens during charging, especially if we're at a charging station. There's been studies about it and all this stuff, research going into it, and they said that's the highest peak of the EMF. Now, it should still be safe, but um, we're gonna find out, double check, all that kind of stuff. And generally, I gotta say, yeah. pretty happy with the levels in there. Bluetooth headphones, kind of like level, especially in the back seat. I don't even need to use the EMF protection material. That's so reassuring. That's reassuring. A lot of people online were saying, oh, about your kids and things like that on the back seat. So that's really reassuring. All right, guys, hope you found this video useful and enjoyed the show. show. <laughs>